Hello dear viewer, I'm Lee Suss. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. And we're going to take out the uh, the ship I unlocked in the previous run, which is the second, the Type of B Federation Cruiser. Um, I'll do all the renaming and stuff in a minute, but just a quick tour of what it's like compared to the previous one, which is the A here. Uh, so we have... Um, do we still have the artillery beam? We do have the artillery beam. Oh, it's already been upgraded to a two, which is nice. Um, otherwise, most of it looks like fairly standard fare. One shield, a couple of engines. Um, we have basic O2 and various other things. The doors, um, the layout. The layout is important as far as getting around the ship. The rooms are noticeably smaller, which is a problem because uh, systems, rooms that you put systems into, so if you might remember last time, I think the drones are here and uh, teleports are here maybe? Can't remember. Uh, the point is that how big a room is, is important for, for serious for things. So the classic strategy uh, for defending a ship, if you get the chance, if people are on board your ship already, is to fight them in the med bay. Um, often there'll be more of you than there are of them, and of course you can heal. Here, we have a tiny med bay. We only heal two people at a time, which also means that it's uh, it's trickier, trickier to do. And also, um, example, a teleport room is nice if you've got a four-point teleport room. That is rarer in among, amongst a lot of, lot of uh, layouts, but it's nice if you can because teleporting four people. You can, you know, go for a full, full ham assault as far as that goes. Otherwise, we've got one little tight area in the middle with a couple with a lot of airlocks on it right here a little wasp waste here um which is going to be possibly an issue um we also have although we've got the better beam artillery beam we've been downgraded to a, a dual laser which is a two shots is it two shots or three shots two shots maybe i can't remember um i should remember this by now two shots per charge whereas the really good thing about this one is three shots um and a Leto, which is the tiniest of missiles, um, very, very far, quite fast, fast charging, nine seconds, only does one damage. It helps you to ping things as far as that goes. By the way, did you know that the early missiles in, in Fast and Light are all named after Greek gods and gods and goddesses and titans? So right. I don't know if spotted before, but Artemis, Leto, who's one of the titans, lesser known, and what's the other? There's another one as well. Just in passing, it's strange because a lot of them just call things like dual laser and hull beam. And it's kind of nice to have things named after, you know, mythical characters. Um, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, enough jabber from me. Let's get going. And We've only got three crew. But let's get going and see how this ship performs. Well, I was about to say we're ready to go. But unfortunately I've made a, a grave, terrible error. I haven't, I haven't renamed the ship and it won't let me rename it. It's unfortunate <laughs> with my usual uh, highly unacceptable names um it's a it's a it's a very it's a very phallic shape what can i say that's how i like to name the ship if it, uh, you name it what it looks like yeah uh, so we can't change the name of the ship but i've changed the name of this lot so we've got um this time we've got uh, fodder on on the on, on the on the steering wheel um we have uh Aki's in it is a, a glowing boy and uh, helping to power up the ship he's running the engines or do i want the shields Mm, I should put someone on shields. Oh, we've got we've got rampage. Rampage is a, is, a, is a revolting slug, slugman, and he's on he's on weapons. But I think he should maybe slither your way over that that way, fella. He should really be on the shields because it's again we'd have to do a little bit of tankiness uh, and see how to deal with this as far as we go. There we go. Um, uh, poor old rampage. Remember, not only is he a slug. He's a psychic slug. So when you look at him and think what a repulsive entity he is, he knows what you're thinking. <laughs> Not good for your self-esteem. But anyway, um, we're going to be even more reliant on the beam. 40 seconds is still not great versus 20. But, um, I don't know how to deal with this yet. Let's get into a fight. And then that's too soon for a store. Let's get into a punch up. And I'll think about how we're going to manage this. The first, the first one should be easy anyway, as far as that goes. <laughs> Watch me die in the zone one. I have to see it as easy. It's a mantis. Um, okay, we can see them in the little ship. Sip my coffee. Because slug slug boy is helping out. Um, so 
so that will pop, pop down our shields, and that will cut holes in us. Um, so we could use the missile. That's a dual laser. It's going to go off about the same time as ours. That will fire fairly fast. I don't actually know. I think we're going to expend a missile. Do we? Let's expend a missile just to put the weapons out, and then we, we should be in control of the situation from there, yeah? I think. You know what? I'm going to put the shields down. Why is, is that? Hold on. Get out of the way. That's paused. Did that? I've never been in a situation where I've not had someone in weapons. Is that really that much slower because there's no one in there? Why is it? Is that because it's unmanned? I've never noticed that before, but then I've not been in that situation before. By the way, also, we have no drone parts, don't you? Know, we start with drone parts. Can't remember. Ah! Okay, tell you the sensors. Well, in that case, the missile in that case was actually a waste. Because um, we couldn't have done it fast enough. It's now it's red. Now it's white. Why was that red before? Someone someone tell me. I don't know why that was. Um, hmm. The missile was a waste. This, this affects how I'll do all the future fights because I couldn't do it fast enough to get past this anyway because of the two fast weapons. Also, we've got a Mantis repairing the shields who's going to take forever. So instead, we're going to slap the weapons down again. But I don't think he'll get done that. Oh, God damn it. I pressed the wrong button. I'm an idiot. Anyway. There we go. We'll keep that down. Um... And what, I don't think he'll even repair them by the time we get another shot on him here. Here we go. Kind of a waste of a missile there, but there we go. Yeah. Poor old Mantis. Very slow to repair. Okay, we got some stuff. Can you pop over there for a second, can of fodder? Stay away from the airlocks. Let's get that repair quickly. And we'll go to the next place. Okay, so... Hmm. Well, most of the... I think everything in Zone 1 will have one shield so I don't think we'll be using the Leto very much hmm we'll watch our upgrade first in this ship what have we got here a federation encrypted signal from a nearby planet let's investigate a quest marker turns on another secret base okay all the way over there Oh, that'll slow him down a bit. I don't really want to go through the nebula, but I think we're going to go this way. I'm going to ignore the store, I think, because it's... I haven't got enough to spend yet. Unless I get a sudden lot of money from this. There's nothing! Great, thanks for that game. Um, we can go this way, actually. That'll avoid the nebula. What am I going to see in the store for 28 quid? Nothing. Oh, God. Right. Um, dual laser bomb of some sort. I don't think there's an indicator on the bombs of what sort of bomb they are, if they're a... Because you can tell with the ion weapons if they're a stun ion or they're a normal ion. But I don't think you can with bombs. Do we want to put them out fast? Uh, no, I think we're just going to hit their... Let's just rip the shields down. Because we're going to take out the hits here, I think. Oh, it's only a double laser. Oh, God damn it. Right in the oxygen bay. Um, we're not dodging anything any, anywhere right now. Actually, you know what? Stay there. It should vent quite fast. As long as it doesn't spread through to here. And we might get, I don't know... Hmm. I'm just thinking about doors for my, my ship, but let's just not worry about it for now. We'll go repair this in a minute. Let's just knock this down for now, shall we? Um, there's doors. That's kind of a problem. Um, wow. Okay. Well, that was good timing. Oh dear, this is this is quite a bad. He's trying to escape. Their engines are out. 
They're going to die in a second anyway, that's fine. Fodder. Did that really hurt? I expect it did. Right, okay. Oh! I forgot about the artillery beam. Um, I'd forgotten that was a thing. 58% oxygen. Um, uh, okay, doors are back up and running. But the oxygen bay is not. Actually, you know what? Get back over there. Forget the controls for a second. Keep those darn shields up, please. Mr. Uh, slug. That powered? Yes. Jeez. That was kind of close. I think Fodder was about to pass out there. Right, guys. Unlucky with the asteroid belts, but we're okay. We're actually taking much damage. And the, the guys have got a bit of practice. Glass house full. Gla say it properly, me. Glass house full. <laughs> Hold on. Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Glass half full. It's been a long day. I don't know. It hasn't actually been a long day. I'm on holiday right now. I don't know what I'm talking about. What's wrong with me? <laughs> three, three attempts to speak my native language. I'm well, not going well. Have some more coffee. That's not going to bode well for this run, is it? Really? If I can't even talk properly. Right. Um, I can't. I can't do a thing with the ship. Um, nothing needed though. Uh, let's just get out of this quest, and we can wander around before we leave the area. Shields, I think, is the answer. Uh, this is a problem. This is usually a trap. So we ignore. We're not de desperately need a fuel. We'll ignore it. Oh my God! Everybody's in trouble. Everyone's been visiting the dodgy fuel station, and now they're upset. Um, unfortunately, we haven't got the variety of crew we have in the previous version of the ship. You find the source of distress from a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control. It's threatening to destroy the station. Um, no, because we're not going to send our crew in there because we haven't got a rock to put out the fire. We don't have any fancy fire suppression systems. We're going to possibly take damage, but we're going to try and rescue somebody. We're lucky. Uh, you pop alongside the station and cut through their hull. So you get an explosion and it damages you, I think, is what happens with this one. One of the survivors off to join your crew and offload the rest on a nearby station. Welcome to the ship. Oh, Fairy, you've been. I've actually looked at your skills, but you've been promoted to uh, promotion. You've been you've been shoved in the weapons system, um, just to see if you can how you get on. It's uh, it's it's no no training, I'm afraid. It's learn on the job. Uh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Quest, then distress, then up. It's kind of nice bit. That's about the maximum jump, isn't it? Really, that's kind of kind of a long jump there. Uh, oh, we got this. We just get. We'll go here first. We'll go here first. Then we'll, I'm trying to think of that extra node. Got to get as much much out of this trip through the zone one as possible. Uh, a nearby mining colony with unknown disease has spread virulently. No, you don't think something like a. Oh, by the way, um, so this is the usual solution for this. I think is the rock, because the rock can't catch the human disease. Uh, you'd have thought that. That applies to, to others. The the slugs are, are probably quite different, I'd imagine, from humans. Maybe not. And so will be the NG, because the NG are... Are they purely mechanical or are they biomechanical? Anyway, you think it'd be more, there'd be more aliens you could use. But who knows, in terms of the sort of disease, I guess, it could still affect uh, the mantis and everything else. So we're not going to send anybody in. I'm sorry, guys. We would lose somebody. We would, it'd be guaranteed. Quest? I learned this wrong order actually. Oh. Don't know what happened with that one. I should have done this one then that one. What if I did something wrong there? Or it's just a random event? 
a random chance it goes wrong. Interesting. Hmm. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Opens a charge, but they're not firing yet. They've got so they've got a laser and they've got a um, a flat cannon. Now we're going to get in there. I don't know who you are, but no one defies rebel feet. Rebel, <laughs> rebel fleet. Obviously, uh, of all my all my already badly mung functioning body parts as a whole, um, the mouth is not doing too well today. Um, <laughs> oh goodness! Right, okay. Concentrate me. Bang on the head. Right. Um, th th these are both going to go through my shield, so we're just going to put down their their weapons as soon as possible. Which is what we're going to do. We're not going to worry about a missile. We're just going to shoot them as much as we can and wait for the artillery beam to come in. Hopefully, you do some dodging. What up? Eh? Oh, already Dark Fairy's getting skills up, and she's getting repair skills now. Um, you know what? Rampage, you on, you're going to be better off. Doing that. Why are we here? Why it's not even ready? Why did I not ready it? Even though I wasn't going to use it, why did I not ready it? You know the answer. It's because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Oh, they got the sensors. Don't even bother running to the end of the, the, end of the ship rampage. There's no point doing that. Yeah. Um, we're taking some hits. I think we'll get repair from the station if we help. So that's fine. Uh, whoa. Oxygen, their oxygen's out. They are unhappy. So, feelings about the ship so far are that it's... Before they decide to run. Oh. I think it's much of a muchness as far as the other Federation cruiser. I don't see a really radical radically different or harder or easier. I mean, you've got the equivalent of a triple laser here. I guess the missiles are annoying because you can run out of missiles. Hold on, let's get, let's get this out of the way. Um, don't know. Lack of crew is probably more of a thing at the moment. We're keeping them down though. We're getting a bit of training out of them. On the job training. Oh, crew's training. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Repair. Yeah, fuel and a repair. That's very nice. Okay. Um, don't very put to mid bay. Before I go and do that. And. On to the next zone. 